little return back to basics? Absolutely. Because we want to be able to reach out to more people. You want to know why we're not doing the live stream? And you'd like to know what we're, what I'm actually doing here, New Comic Book Day recording? Stick around. You told me to go back to the beginning. So I have. <laughs> Welcome back, family. Thanks for joining yet again here at Team Ohana. Yes, yeah, so uh, why are we going back to recording? Well, there's a multitude of reasons. And first and foremost, I would love to say thank you to all the people that did tune in to the live streams. However, we did notice that it really did not take off like we anticipated. And it was the same couple of people every week. Uh, I mean, we have a lo uh, well over a thousand subscribers, so I think it's like 1,100 now. And we'd get three, four people in our live stream. And I don't know whether it was because of the time of day, lack of interest, the way it was advertised, I don't know. What I do know is that we seem to be reaching more people with a recorded video. And I was able to choose from a larger group of people to win comic books. <laughs> And I have no problem with sending, it doesn't matter to me whether I send it to A or B, it's, you know, still, it doesn't cost me any different amount. However, I wanted to see a greater variety of people actually win. So don't forget to drop a comment in this video for the first of, as we're back into our new comic book day recorded, stick around for next week to find out what you win comic books listed later on. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Plus, we actually had to pay extra for live soft, um, software for live streaming, and it's it was you know it was adding up, and we're just it wasn't taking off like we thought. So we just tried to watch our spending in today's wonderful economy, especially since we got exclusive comics coming out one week from today. Yes, yes, Radiant Pink dropping one week from today, Nightclub dropping two weeks from today. Don't forget to, to go to syndicatecomicsshop.com if you have a chance to pre-order. We found out today, last minute, final order cutoff, that the sketch variant for Nightclub was canceled by Image. So I think it was one person that pre-ordered the sketch cover by Deegan. Um, we're already reaching out to that person. But we're they're going to go with a, um, what do you say, 11 by 7? picture you know that you can frame instead of an actual comic book he still wants to draw something for you but the, the book got canceled by image which doesn't make any sense uh, i mean it, it's not like the art costs a lot it's a blank sheet <laughs> ah so enough of that what did i actually get today yes so i got one marvel one dc one image and one dark horse no not dark horse boom dark horse what did i get i got no it's a dark horse okay no boom and that's it. Just four, five, if you count the variant, comics for the comic book day. So we're going to start off with the Marvel. This was not a key or anything. I just, I saw it and I'm like, I need that. I need that. Had to have the Darth Vader. <laughs> Number 29. It's a variant edition and I love that one. I had to have it. So, so I know I've been asked in the past, have I ever... You know, bought a book just for its cover art. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I do it all the time. Uh, in our DC, I picked up uh, Justice, Justice Society of America number one, the new the new Golden Age. Whatever happened to the JSA? So we'll see how this goes. Image Comics came out with a new book. I think I got an A and a B. We've got. Plush, number one. <laughs> and, of course, the B of Plush, number one. So, I think this is something to do with furries, you know, plush toys, maybe being um, demons. I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes, what it is. You know, there are a lot of interesting stories, especially in the independence, and I had to pick it up. Um, a couple of my favorite things, Dark Horse, number ones, and Star Wars. Star Wars, the High Republic. 
Rep Adventures number one. Padwan or pirates? <laughs> yeah, anytime I hear the word pirate in Star Wars, in my head, I hear uh, Hondo and Naka's voice. Pirates! <laughs> so that, that's it. That's all I got for New Comic Book Day. Um, I did get one other book in the mail today. It's definitely not new, though. Mm, it is good to me. I, I, I know a lot of comic book prices are falling. And a lot of people are worried about the economy. People that jumped on the bandwagon last year thinking that this is, they're going to, you know, this is where I'm going to make my retirement. And they see prices falling, so now they're just dumping their books. So prices are coming down a bit. They're still above where they were two years ago, so it, it's fine. But this is a great opportunity to get books for your collection. I mean, every market, comics are no exception. Baseball cards, look what they did, you know, 15, 20 years ago. They tanked. Everybody thought everything was going to be completely worthless. Now it's, except for that one block of overprinted cards. Uh, you had a Mickey Mantle rookie card, <laughs> Nolan Ryan rookie card, jeez. Johnny Bench rookie card. I used to have that. I wish I still did. Jeez. Um, but as far as comics, though, if you're financially okay and you can afford to just get a little bit here and there, it's a great time to buy golden or even platinum age books because the prices of everything have come down. So in an effort of trying to make sure that Mrs. Ohana is not the only person that has books from the 40s, I'm going to bring this down from the top so I can show it. I really have, this is a graded book. Superman number 40. Look at that. I'm loving that. And one of the, it's not a key, but I do like 1946 books that are a 7.0. Off white pages. I love it. On the back, it's got an advertisement for Ever Ready Batteries at the Separation Center, which when you came back from the, the war, uh, I guess that's where you could. Got, you know, this is where I'm leaving the army and I'm taking this and I'm taking this and this was mine when I left and everything else. And <laughs> the sergeant's, uh, <laughs> souvenir or no souvenir, you leave here, you leave that here. <laughs> the guy's trying to say, no, no, this is my souvenir from the war. <laughs> it's a tank. <laughs> Rolling down the interstate with that. Do they even make every batteries anymore? I don't know. But, I saw this off-white 1946 Superman number 40. Mm. And in my head, I'm like, number 40 only after seven years? Yeah, I guess right. For some reason, I was thinking that that would be a higher number, but this is also May slash June. This was a bi-monthly. And the uh, story arts, Don Cameron and Jerry Siegel. This is one of the ones that Siegel was involved with. Ah, I mean, I have history here. I love this. So, slowly getting different titles. Um, I mean, I got that uh, Green Lantern book. Part of it was because I wanted it. Part of it was because I also wanted uh, Greg to go. <gasps> <laughs> but, I mean, I got the Fantastic Fours that are right here uh, below my arm. This is where you can really start to make a wall of um, historical books. I'm, I'm also looking for... Um, like, I'd love to find a, a, a real early Wonder Woman or Sensational, Sensation comics. Uh, those are really pricey. Oof. Um, still, to be able to put something like that into my collection. I didn't understand why I didn't spend too much money this week. <laughs> ah, so, what do you think? I think I, I got a good one there? I, I think I did. I think I did. I, it, the bottom line is, it makes me happy. And that's what comics is supposed to do. So now is my opportunity to try to make you happy. So I'm going to give away a couple of books. And this is back to the way things used to be. You go back to the beginning. <laughs> Drop a comment. Make sure you're a subscriber. And make sure that you click like. Three things that you need to do for this video. Make sure the comment is clean. Keep it clean. Keep it comics. Okay. Um, it could be just something simple like hi. It's, that's fine. If it's, uh, you know, vote for Raphael Warnock or... <laughs> no, I don't need that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to hear any more 
I'm in Georgia and they're having a runoff. So I'm being inundated with Christmas music and still more political ads. I just want to hide my head somewhere. Oh. What are you going to win? That's the question. Well, we're going to make sure that you get a, a copy of The Dark Horse because I love giving away independence. Star Wars High Republic Adventures number one. Buy it. And a copy of Plush number one. You want to win these two books it's really really simple this is open to north america only so i'm sorry it just doesn't pay to spend fifty dollars to send eight dollars worth of comics but it, yeah i'm sorry um make sure that you're again subscribing to the channel click like drop a comment on this video don't forget while you're at it though to click on notifications and share let other people know about this like hey this guy gives away comic books nice and simple next week i'll draw a winner for this and announce another book for no, I can tell you right now what next week's is going to be. It's going to be a copy of Radiant Pink, the Deacon for Chorus. Ah! Yes, I'm going to be giving away at least one copy. Because we are having a full day event at Syndicate Comics on the 7th and on the 10th for Radiant Pink number one. They're going to have um, a live stream on whatnot on Trends Are Trash. You can order this in advance or you can order it online on whatnot and actually watch Deacon sign it for you. Okay, they have uh, bundles on uh, Syndicate Comic Shop. Um, and if you want to wait to get that shipped one week, then the next book that will be coming out will be Nightclub, which is Mark Millar's new book. Again, A, a B, uh, the same places since you can uh, go on to Trends or Trash and whatnot. My, my uh, SyndicateComicsShop.com to order that. Each one of these books is going to have their own specific COA. If you get, you know, if you're getting a signed copy, just so you know, this is actually the one for a nightclub. I have to do a little experimentation with this later. I'm going to see if uh, I can do something with one of these. But yeah, both these books on the back. Team Ohana, Hollow in the back. Yes, Cynic Comics on the other side. Yes. <laughs> uh, we look like we might actually even break even on this. <laughs> We're not trying to make money. We're trying to make sure that we have some fun. It's comics. We can promote Deegan some more because he's a great artist. And uh, Greg and I will have some books that when we retire, we can look at it and go, that was me. When we flip that over to the back, you know. It'd be cool if it was we were on the front, but I'm not Superman. Guys, thanks for joining. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, comment on this video, notifications for future ones. Hope everything is having a, you're having a wonderful day. And until I see you in the next video, which we're going to be recording a reaction to Willow after this, mahalo.